Now we've been working quite a lot with ordinary, linear, non-homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to do like a nice little application of everything we learned and do two interesting examples that's really like a nice culmination of like all we've done the past couple of videos. So let's start off with this example here. Y, uh, second derivative of y plus 4 times the first derivative plus 4 times y is equal to x times e to the, whoops, this should be negative 2x. So first thing we need to do is let's solve the homogeneous equation. y double prime plus 4y prime plus 4y is equal to 0. And we know that we can use the, we can try out the equation e, y is equal to uh, e to the rt, or rx. And if, if we plug that in, we're going to get the characteristic equation r squared plus 4r plus 4 is equal to 0. So we get that r minus 2, oops, sorry, r plus 2 times r plus 2 is equal to 0, which means our two roots are just r is equal to negative 2 and r is equal to negative 2. So we have a repeated root. And we know for a repeated root, essentially we're going to have the general solution c1 e to the negative 2x plus c2x times e to the negative 2x. So we found our homogeneous solution. Now let's try and tackle this non-homogeneous part right here. So we would immediately guess with the method of undetermined coefficients that our particular solution should be a times x plus b times e to the negative 2x. Now we need to compare the particular solution with the homogeneous solution and we see that they're pretty much the same thing. We have a scaled exponential and a scaled exponential times x. So we need first need to modify it and we're going to first modify it by multiplying it by x. So let's try a times x squared plus bx times e to the negative 2x. And let's compare this with the homogeneous solution. And this term looks pretty good, ax squared e to the negative 2x, but we still have constant times x times e to the negative 2x. So we need to modify it once more. And we should, we'll eventually get that the particular solution we should try is ax cubed plus bx squared times e to the negative 2x. And here we have something where every term in the particular solution is linearly independent with itself and with every term in the homogeneous solution. So if we were to carry on this example, we'd just plug in this into the, this differential equation and try and find out what the values of uh, our undetermined coefficients would be. But I'm actually going to save you the burden of that. Instead, we're going to move on to an even crazier example. So let's take a look at this differential equation. We're going to look at the second derivative of y plus 3 times the first derivative. All of this is equal to t squared e to the negative 3t. Here we're apparently dealing with time now instead of x. Plus sine of 3t plus 2t cubed plus 1. So we have a slightly daunting non-homogeneous side. But let's use our protocol and first try and solve the homogeneous part. So the characteristic equation of this will be r squared plus 3r is equal to 0. So we get that our two roots are, well, we get that r times r plus 3 is equal to 0. So our two roots are r is equal to negative 3 and r is equal to 0. Which means our homogeneous solution is just going to be c1 e to the negative 3t 
plus c2 times e to the 0t. And e to the 0 power, that's just going to be 1. So just c1, e to the negative 3t, plus c2. Now let's do the fun part and guess a particular solution. So let's guess, uh, let's just work term by term and guess what it would be. Let's start off with the sinusoid term, because that's probably the easiest. So we'd guess a times sine of 3t plus b times cosine of 3t. Now let's do the polynomial term, so let's say plus a t cubed, plus, oh, my bad, c t cubed plus d t squared plus e t plus f. That should hopefully cover all of this polynomial. And now we're just left with this term here, a polynomial times an exponential, which is just going to be g times t squared plus h times t plus i, all of that times e to the negative 3t. So we have our particular solution. So now let's compare and see if any of it overlaps with the homogeneous solution. Notice we have a constant here, and notice we have a constant here, which means we have to multiply this entire polynomial by t. And like we said, the reason why we do that is to make sure that every one of these terms is linearly independent with each other and with the homogeneous solution. And notice we also have a constant times e to the negative 3t here and here. So we'd have to modify this by multiplying all of this by t. Oops. So we have this particular solution right here. And if we were really brave, we could plug it in and try and find out all the values of these undetermined coefficients. But let's not actually do that. Hopefully, though, with this example, you can see, like, all the different possibilities that might arise when you're doing the method of undetermined coefficients. Because essentially, in this example, we've talked about particular solutions for polynomials, sinusoids, exponentials, combinations of the two, and modification because they overlap with the homogeneous solution. So hopefully that all made sense. And let's try and move into another topic in the next video.